Hi there, I'm John Berman, and I'm in a hotel room in Iowa. And uh, and the only movie I could find on TV was uh, was this, which is Urban Cowboy, which which I always like to say is is the best movie about mechanical bull riding ever made. Now, it's a fair question to ask: Why was there ever a movie about mechanical bull riding made in the first place? Now, that's a good question, but it's not the best question about movies out there. I have a lot of questions about movie mysteries that, that, that I've always wondered about. Take this one, for instance. Look at The Breakfast Club. Now, in this scene in The Breakfast Club, the Emilio Estevez character is falling in love with the Ali Sheedy character. Now, how did this happen? You'll remember that for most of the movie, Ali Sheedy was a basket case, and Emilio Estevez, the jock wrestler, he didn't pay any attention to her, but here, at the end, what changed is this. Ali Sheedy put on makeup and combed her hair. She made herself look what, by conventional terms, would be considered pretty. So, what's the message we're supposed to get here? That if you clean yourself up, if you brush your hair, if you put on makeup, everything's gonna turn out okay? That's the wholesome message we're supposed to get from The Breakfast Club? Now, this is not the first time we've seen this in movies now, is it? Remember Greece at the end when they're all at the carnival dancing around saying, you're the one that I want, ooh, 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 ooh. Well, well, what changed over the course of the movie that finally allowed the John Travolta character and the Olivia Newton-John character to get together? Well, if you pay attention, really what's changed is the pants, the ones Olivia Newton-John is wearing. These black leather spandex vinyl things, that appears to be what finally gets John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John back together. Now, again, what message is this really sending our kids? Grease is supposed to be this big, wholesome movie. Is it really when the resolution is all about black leather pants? Um, I'm just asking. But the biggest movie mystery of all time is this, from the venerable Wizard of Oz. This is what Dorothy says to the Scarecrow at the end. I think I'll miss you most of all. She tells the Scarecrow she's going to miss him most of all. More than the Tin Man, more than the Cowardly Lion. The question is, why? She knew the Scarecrow for like 10 minutes more than the Tin Man. Is that enough for them to develop some kind of close relationship we never learned about? Did they have some kind of off-screen romance we never saw? Some kind of love scene that, that didn't make the final cut or something? And if you look at it, the Tin Man and the Cowardly Lion, they're pretty upset. You can see it in their faces. I've always thought that's weird. From the minute I was like five years old watching this movie, I thought, wow, that's mean. Dorothy just dissed the Tin Man and the Cowardly Lion. I just want to know why. That's all I've got for this week. If you have any answers to my questions, if you know why Dorothy was so mean to the Tin Man, please let us know. Now, you might be wondering what it is, uh, is about the beard I've got going on this week. Well, it's the stress of the job. It's getting to me. Also, I just wanted to prove that I could grow a beard, unlike, say, Dan Harris.